Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you like fragrance-related content, like first impressions, full in-depth reviews, top 10 lists and fragrance haul videos, and participate in giveaways, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. I really would appreciate that. Make sure you click the bell icon to be notified as well. Today we're talking about 10 fragrances I used the entire full bottle of. So this was a tag video um, going around by another reviewer called CJ um, City T. I'll leave his channel down below so you can check out that video. Um, Ashton did the video earlier today, I think it was. So I feel like cool, I'll do the same video just to see how cool it is because I have a lot of fragrances in my collection. And these are some that I just wear all the time. Like if I'm not testing out a fragrance on my skin or my neck, these are 10 fragrances I enjoy wearing a lot and I love them. So make sure to stay tuned. Before the video starts, these are just my 10. Leave your 10 down below. And these are just some that I just enjoy wearing. So without further ado, there's no honorable mentions. 10 is from the house of Mugler. This is Mugler Cologne. So this here is just a fresh and clean type of a fragrance. It's just clean, it's soapy, it's fresh. It's something that if you're new to fragrances and you haven't had a lot of experience with fragrances, you don't wanna wear something challenging to work or date night. Um, you just want something that you smell nice around your girlfriend, your boyfriend, so on and so forth. This is a great fragrance to have. It's just uplifting, it's fresh, it's soapy. Nobody's not gonna dislike this soapy fragrance unless they like to smell people dirty. This is a fresh and clean soapy scent that any guy, any woman could wear. It's a unisex fragrance. If you want a full review on this fragrance, I'll leave the link down below. Definitely check this out. Here you can get it for about 50, 60 bucks online at FragranceNet. Um, Fragrance X or MaxAroma.com. I'll leave all the websites down below. Definitely check out Mugger Cologne. Number nine fragrance is from the House of Creed. I love this one a lot, and this is Creed Aventus Cologne. What can I say about this fragrance? It's almost empty. <laughs> I waste a few sprays. Oh man, so this is fresh, it's clean. There's citrus and mandarin is opening this fragrance. You get a slightly pineapple feel like the original Ventus in here, but pineapple is not listed as note. I get a minty cooling effect, but mint isn't listed as note as well, but it's fresh, it's uplifting, a very citrus, fresh and clean fragrance with that mandarin opening. It's just a great fragrance. If you want a lighter Creed Aventus, something for the summer and spring, you feel like the original is too heavy with the smoky smokiness or the pineapple heavier freeness. This is a great citrus mandarin fragrance from the House of Creed. Definitely check this one out right here. Creed Aventus Cologne. Number eight fragrance from the House of Chanel. Blue Day Chanel Parfum. So you can get the EDT, the, the EDP or the Parfum. I tried them all. I've had all of them, but then I got rid of two of them and I kept the Parfum. This one here, oh man. Whew, this is just beautiful. It's fresh, it's clean. Some people call it shower jelly vibe. I get it. This is just, if you like the original Blue de Chanel, the ED tier to EDP, this is a nice refined version, a little bit more darker. Um, this is not as heavy as the original Blue de Chanel fragrance. This is toned down some, and it's more wearable wear. You can wear this and not have to overspray. This one is nice, it's subtle. Um, this one doesn't reach out and grab people as the original EDT and EDP, but this is safe for work, date night. This could be a signature scent for any man that just wants to smell nice. Mass appealing scent, Waganu Continents. You can wear it with a suit um, and tie, or you can wear it dress down casual to work. You'll love Blue Day Chanel Parfum. Number seven fragrance is from the house of Parfums de Marley or PDM. This is Sedley. So I love Sedley. Sedley's a great one. You know why I love this, guys. Come on now, this is mint. This is spearmint in a bottle. I love it. There is some freshness about the fragrance as well. There's other notes in here, but main, this is a spearmint, a spearmint fresh and clean type of a scent that any guy or any woman could wear. I like wearing this one a lot. I have the older batch that first came out. They do have a 2020 batch. Um, if you can get that one, get that one. The performance is a lot better on the new 2020 batch than mine. I got like four hours with this one here. The new batch, I think I get like seven seven pushing eight hours so that performance a hell of a lot better than my original one but nevertheless i still love this fragrance i'm halfway through the juice you can see i just love perfumes and marley fragrances in general i, mean, I love this one i love hop done um, i want to buy greenly very soon i love that one a lot um definitely more fresh and clean summer scents like this one here nevertheless um if you're interested in picking up any of these fragrances i'll leave the links down below but definitely check out perfumes of marley sadly number six fragrance is from the house of christian dior you guys know what it is already if you watched my channel for the last four years dior sauvage 
EDT. So you get the EDT, the EDP, don't buy the Parfum. Oh man, so this has bergamot, it's fresh, it's citrusy. People call it shower jealous, I get it. It's a nice scent if you don't have Blue Day Chanel, EDT, EDP, or Parfum. Maybe you don't like the Chanel one, definitely try out the Dior Sauvage one. Look, this is mass appealing. Women like it, men like it. Um, performance is great. Now some people say they get um, bad performance with the new batches. I haven't tried them out. Um, definitely go to your store, spray it on your skin if you can, and see if it performs on your skin before you say, you know, you say other people say they get bad performance. This is a great fragrance. Whether you get six hours, seven hours, it does the job. It's fresh, it's clean, and most women and guys out there love this scent. There's nothing wrong with wearing Dior Sauvage. You can wear it dressed up or dressed down as a signature scent. So definitely check out Dior Sauvage, EDT, EDP, or heck, if you want to try to perform, try to perform. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's your choice. Number five fragrance is from the house of Gal Galera Fragrances, Perfecto. So I love Perfecto, it's a great fragrance. Man, Woo. love this one. I should have bought the bigger bottle at Perfumology, but I didn't. Shout out to my boy Nier Guy for having this fragrance available to buy at his store. Um, there's pear, grapefruit, cash, uh, patchouli, driftwood. This is a beautiful scent. It's a fruity scent. There is some freshness about this scent as well, so you can wear this um, at work or you can wear it dressed up or dressed down. This is a fragrance that people smell like, ooh, it smells fruity, I like it. You're gonna get comfortable with a fragrance like this because people have never smelled something like this before at the designer level. This is a niche fragrance, so when you go to a niche boutique, you're gonna smell something like, wow, this smells very different, but it's approachable and easy to wear. As in, you can wear this casual to work, date night, so on and so forth. This could be your signature scent if you want because it has elements where you can wear it in the fall and winter, wear the colder months, and you can wear it in the spring and summer and the hotter months because there's nothing wrong with smelling fresh and fruity. Unless you don't like fruity scents, I understand that, but most people I know love this fragrance off me and they want to buy themselves a bottle, but this bottle sells out a lot at Perfumology, but nevertheless, if you don't believe me, I'm gonna leave a link down below. Pick yourself up a sample at Perfumology. Reach out to boy, my boy Near Guy. He'll take care of you. This is Perfecto. Before fragrance is a fragrance I love a lot. Um, I didn't think I was gonna love it at first, but then I bought a bottle, I went through the bottle, I'm almost gone, and it's from the house of Paco Rabanne. No, it's not one million lucky. Invictus Aqua 2018, almost done. This is a great, summer scent. So this grapefruit, it's fresh, it's clean, it's sea saltiness where it has that sea salty notes where it's like, it reminds you of going down to the shore, summertime, so on and so forth. It's a beautiful scent. Performance isn't the best. I'll be the first one to admit four or five hours-ish. You got to just reapply it like this. But anyway, it's great for the summer months. If you're going down to the shore, you just want to enjoy life and just smell nice like you're down at the shore. This is a perfect scent. You can get to discount thing for like 50 bucks, 40 bucks online. This is a steal. Wear it down in the summertime, enjoy life. People are gonna like the way you smell. It's not very sweet. It's more sea salty and fresh, but you get a little sweetness in it because all the Invictus has a sweetness in it, but more, it's more of a sea salty and fresh and clean grapefruit type of fragrance. So definitely check out Invictus Aqua 2018. Number three fragrance is from the house of Byredos. I just love this fragrance. It's between this one and Gypsy Water, which is very hard, but my boy Manny from Cascade Scents, I'll leave his channel down below. He hooked me up this fragrance here, told me you should check it out, buy it, and I did. It's Byredos, uh, bought a freak. I love this one, it's great. Man, this one is just, it's different. Um, has this African marigold note in the fragrance, has a freshness in the opening, so it gives a fresh and cleanness. I get a lot of a fresh and cleanness off of my skin and some sweetness as well. Um, I'll leave the full review down below if you wanna check out the full review. I don't wanna ruin it in this video here, but I love wearing this one a lot. This is, a, this is the number one best fragrance from the House of Byredo that people always talk about and hype up, but I love Byredo Ball the Freak. If you have not yet smelled this fragrance, you really need to do yourself a favor and get a sample of it. You're gonna love this fragrance. Performance isn't the best. Everybody's skin is gonna compare different. I think I get about six hours on my skin if I'm lucky. Six, six and a half, but I love this one from my house of Byredos, and I love Gypsy Water. So it's between one, two, two, one. These can easily be my number ones or my number two. So definitely check this fragrance out here by the house of Byredos, and this is Ball to Freak. Number two fragrance is from the house of Mugger. Man, I had to put another Mugler in the fragrance. I know, it's on this list. It is Mugler Crypto Mint. So you guys know me, I love mint fragrances. This is mint at its finest. It's mint, um, there's geranium, 
Um, this is a fragrance that you do get that sweetness in the fragrance where you get the geranium, you get the mint, where it gives that Girl Scout cookie vibe, and there's patchouli in the fragrance as well. But geranium kind of gives off that uh, minty slash chocolatey feel sometimes in the fragrance, mint, mainly more minty in the fragrance. But this is like a Girl Scout cookie type of fragrance. It's very sweet, and there's a minty feel to the fragrance as well. So it's fresh and it's sweet at the same time. This is a great fragrance to wear if you want to wear it in the summertime, springtime, fall, winter. It just does the job. This could be a signature scent because it has that blast of mint in your face, and then it cools down some um, from the iciness of mint, and you get the geranium, the sweetness in the fragrance. So this could be a great fragrance for any man or any child to wear. I mean, heck, this bottle is awesome by itself. So it might get discontinued down the road. You never know what Mugger fragrance is, but definitely check out Mugger Crypto Mint if you like mint, sweet type of a fragrances. Number one fragrance, what do you guys think? Just leave a comment down below. I didn't put Viking on the list. I talk about Viking every video, so Viking's not on this list. It should have been an honorable mention, but I didn't want to. My number one is from the house of Rosier. Rosier Parfum Cologne, this is Elysium. So Elysium is a great fragrance. I know some people complain about the performance. There's lemon, there's bergamot, um, patchouli, uh, sandalwood. This is a great um, versatile fragrance. What I mean by that is you can wear this all year round. So for 12 months out there, you can wear this as a signature scent. Um, you wanna wear it to the office, it's great. Date night, great. Be in the, um, your significant other's family members for the first time, mother and father, great. Um, Job interview, great. If you want to wear a fragrance for job interview, you don't have to wear a fragrance, but this is a great fragrance that's going to seal the deal. Um, it's uplifting. It's fresh. If you like fragrances like Dior Sauvage, EDT, if you like fragrances like Blue Day Chanel, if you like fragrances like Creed Aventus Cologne, you're going to like this fragrance here. It has them elements of the same type of fragrance. When you would wear them fragrances, you would wear this fragrance here. There's nothing not to like about this fragrance, except I know, I know the price point is very expensive. I'll leave links down where you pick up the bottle or samples at Perfumology. Um, and I'll leave links down below if you want to pick it up at full retail. It's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just trying to help you out. Anyway, at the end of the day, this is a great versatile scent that I love wearing a lot. I think people should definitely check this out if you're tired of the designer fragrances and you wanna to smell totally different at your job and you have a little bit more money to spend on the fragrance, maybe you got a bonus at your job, uh, maybe you got your tax money back. Um, definitely check out Rosia Parfum Cologne Elysium. I think you'll just love it. You'll go head over heels for it. My girlfriend loves this one a lot from the whole lineup, so. There you go. Thank you for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, hope you like the video. Show YouTube you like the content and want to see more of it. Make sure you click that red subscribe button because if you're not new, you won't know about the new videos coming out soon. And make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified for future videos and giveaways as well. I'll see you guys next video. Be safe out there. Happy Memorial Day to everybody. And I think a special thanks to all the members overseas that are fighting for us from the Air Force to the Army. Um, to the Navy, so on and so forth, and to my returning soldiers that came back. Be safe. I hope you all take care, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.